I am Dr. Pierre Mangdalani, I'm a pediatric pulmonologist and today I'm going to talk about a very important topic which is asthma in children. As you may know already, this is a disease that is very common in children and can affect as many as 10 to 12 percent of, of, the, children, of the children in frequency. And thankfully, advances uh, in the diagnosis and treatment of asthma have dramatically improved in the past decades and we have uh, very efficient and uh, safe medication to control your child asthma. So uh, as you may know already as well, asthma is caused by a swelling of the airways and uh, what we call an inflammation and this inflammation and swelling gets the airways narrowed and your child couldn't breathe properly especially during his activity or sometimes at night. So, he might experience uh, 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 tightness of the breathing and, and, and uh, sometimes you need to, to give a specific medicine to relieve this, uh, this narrowing of the airways. So as you know, most asthma attacks are caused by triggers. And these triggers might be even allergens like uh, dust mites, pollen, uh, dander pets eventually or other triggers. Some viruses can also are very well known to trigger your asthma, uh, your children, your child asthma. So uh, uh, when, uh, uh, when the breathing gets uh, very difficult, sometimes the skin of your, ch your child's chest and neck may be sucked inwards, so he cannot breathe properly and he has to push to get some air. And uh, the most important thing as well is uh, uh, when, when he's coughing very hard, it might wake him, wakes him at night and he had a bad quality of life and sometimes he doesn't, he's not able to do his proper exercise or his activity like other kids. So the doctor will, uh, will have to diagnose uh, your, your child asthma and uh, then do a few tests for him and uh, assess it properly and then once uh, the assessment is done and the, what we call the classification of your uh, of, of his asthma has been uh, uh, done, then we decide to treat your child. So the treatment, in general, uh, there is two uh, kind of medication you should give for your ch for your child. The first thing is what we call controller medicine, and these controller medicine, uh, their aim is to reduce the inflammation of the airways inside the airways and the swelling and let your child uh, have a normal airways like another child. So these controller medicines should be given on long term. It can be three months, six months, sometimes three years. It depends on the severity of, uh, uh, of the attacks and the severity of asthma. And the second kind of med medicine should be given. In general, there are sprays, inhalers, given with a spacer. And the second type are what we call the relievers. And the relievers are only used during flare-up. Uh, during attacks. So these relievers also are given in the same way with an inhaler. And there is also as well some oral medicine that can be prescribed for your, for your kid. So uh, what's important also is to have what we call an action plan in case of anything occurs like a severe asthma attack or something, what you should do. Then you have this, uh, this action plan that your doctor should, should write uh, uh, for you. And you have different level, green, yellow, or red, eventually. So it depends which uh, severity, which medicine you should give. And this action plan should be kept with you most of the time. And if you can give this action plan to your, uh, uh, to your child's school, and, uh, and so they know what to do in case of uh, anything happen. So he will have to, to, need to, to have these medicine. And most of the children with the proper Manage, management and, uh, uh, of asthma uh, can lead to a life practically normal like another kid and have a better quality of life. Even it shouldn't hold them back from even the highest level of athletic competition. And we know there is an Olympic champion, they have asthma and they're doing very well. So there is no concern. Once the treatment has been started, everything will get back, back to normal most of the time. And the most important thing as well is the follow-up. So you have to always continue uh, to follow with your uh, pediatrician or your specialist to assess the, the level of control of asthma of your kids 
and try to reduce or increase the medicine depending on what's going on. So uh, with the proper educa education and the medical management, it is possible to control this disease on a daily basis and of course prevent asthma attacks. Thank you.